Hey everyone, what's going on? Ash here from ME Odyssey. Today we look at a theory that has been making the rounds on the Bioware forums and on Reddit pretty much ever since the Andromeda trailer with the Jennifer Hale voiceover was released. And this theory is, did Shepard know about the Arcs and the plans to go to the Andromeda galaxy? Now I know what you're thinking, the Femship speech was fan service and a thank you from the devs as we move away from the original trilogy into a whole new adventure. But looking on the forums and Reddit, people are very divided on whether Shepard was actually aware of the failsafe of going to Andromeda should the Reapers be victorious. So what we plan to do is take a few ideas and theories, put them to you and see what you think. We'll firstly look at the ideas that say Shepard was indeed aware of the plan to go to Andromeda, and then we'll look at a few points that say Shepard was not aware of the plans and leave it to you to see what you think. So firstly, the theory is that Shepard was aware of the plans for Andromeda. As a Spectre, Shepard would have had high level clearance to classified information, and seeing as Spectre status basically allows you to access anything and any resources as you see fit, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that they would have found out simply by looking for the information should his or her suspicions be aroused. Also, being close friends with the current Shadow Broker, one of the most influential brokers of information around, would likely prove useful too. Another mini-theory that supposedly supports the idea of Shepard having prior knowledge is a different interpretation of Shepard's signing off speech. Some users think this is actually directed at the crew of the Arcs as they are about to set off on their journey. Of course, if this were true, and Shepard was actually seeing them off, it could maybe suggest that Shepard may have survived the end of the Reaper War, and the Arcs actually set off after the events of the original trilogy. But that is another possible theory for another time. The third and final point that we bring up for this side of the argument for this video, but trust me, there was more, is that the Arcs already existed before the Reaper threat. Ships that were meant for something else entirely, but in light of the Reapers showing up and going all beanface on our galaxy, were repurposed, stocked up and made ready for escaping to Andromeda should the worst happen. Again, Shepard being a Spectre and the Arcs being pretty large ships and probably hard to hide, they would have likely been made aware so that all the details were known by personnel that needed to know, including Shepard. So now we move on to the reasons why Shepard was not made aware of the Andromeda plans. Firstly, after three games fighting the Reapers and coming into contact with at least a few Reaper artifacts, which are known to affect the mind and likely lead to indoctrination, the organisers of the Andromeda plan, knowing the effects of indoctrination, would have seen Shepard as a possible weakness, and so likely wouldn't have told him in case indoctrination came into effect, and stopping the escape plan effectively before it had even started. Next, Shepard being aligned with Cerberus in Mass Effect 2 would likely still leave a lot of people with trust issues towards Shepard. Being associated with a group that is almost universally hated for its controversial methods and practices will have a somewhat negative effect on your reputation, even if you have the best of intentions. Even friends of yours are still wary of you moving into the starting events of Mass Effect 3. And the third and final point for the against side of the conversation, and again there were plenty more points for this side, we just wanted to choose a few for each side for discussion in this video, is that the arcs were already being built or were fully constructed by the time the events of Mass Effect 2 began, this being the period of time that Shepard was, well, dead. It took around two years for Cerberus to bring Shepard back, and to some this would have been more than enough time to build and or ready the arcs for travel to Andromeda. Of course, this point entirely depends on how long we think it takes to build not just one arc, but at least three seen in the E3 2016 trailer, would probably have taken a fair bit of time. There was also one comment on the Bioware forums that made us laugh, and it is quite simply, Shepard's dead, no need to let him know. So there you go, a few points for, and a few points against, but what do you think? Do you think it would have been likely that Shepard knew about the Arcs and the Andromeda plan? 
Or would it have been too much of a risk to let Shepard in on the project considering what he or she has opened themselves up to throughout the original trilogy of games? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory, so let us know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you've got a theory of your own, be sure to let us know and it may feature in a follow-up video to this one in the near future. Thanks so much for watching, as always you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things Mass Effect and you can help the channel to grow by sharing the video too. Again, thanks for watching, we'll see you again very soon.